let's get into some slightly more interesting things. So copy and paste. Pretty standard operation in the text editor. This is going to be one that you use all the time in coding because no one actually writes code, they just copy and paste it from the internet. Um, and to copy and paste in Emacs, it's a little bit different than what a lot of people are used to. There is no copy command. There is only a cut command. There's only cut and paste. So a copy and paste is cut, paste, paste, right? So you cut it, repaste it, and then go to where you want it a second time and paste it again. Um, Emacs comes from a long Unix tradition of being minimalist, even though that's kind of a contradiction, as you'll see later, it does way more than it should. Um, but in a minimalist philosophy, copy is a redundant command. All you need is cut and paste, right? Copy is a combination of cut and repaste, so why would you need it in the first place? The command to cut is called a kill, K. So control K will cut an entire line. It'll cut whatever line you're currently on. The command to paste is called yank, so it's Y. Uh, control Y will paste that line back. And then if I want to copy that line, I will do control Y a second time, and it'll paste it again. Or I can go down here and paste it again. Or I can paste it multiple times, all onto the same line, all day long. So again, control K, if I go all the way so. Emacs line wrapped here, but you see these slashes here, in, these aren't actually separate lines, this is one long line and it just happens to be wrapping them. If I put in hard enters, it would have actually wrapped these lines here. So if I go up to the start of what is in fact a really long line, I can do another, control K, it'll delete the entire thing. I can do a control Y to paste it. I can paste it a few more times, so on and so forth. So, kill and yank, cut and paste. Questions on that? So sometimes you don't want to, uh, sometimes you don't want to just copy an entire line, right? Like let's say I want to copy this whole group of lines, or let's say I just want to copy the second half of this line. If you're in a situation where you want to copy from the cursor to the end of the line, you can keep using Control K. So Control K will go from wherever your cursor is to the end of the current line, um, and then I can paste it again. If I just want to take part of the line, it gets a little bit more complicated. Um, so in Emacs, there's something called the mark. The mark is essentially just an invisible marker that you can put anywhere in the file and then use to do various things. So what I essentially want to do is I want to set a mark right here, and then I'm going to basically scroll to here. This is the equivalent of like clicking and highlighting something in, in an editor that has a mouse. So to set a mark, the command is control space. So if I do control space, you'll see this little thing down here says mark activated, and my cursor temporarily changes to a straight line and changed back already. So if I do control space, and then I start using the arrow keys, you'll see it's now highlighting from wherever I did a control space to wherever my cursor currently is. If I now just want to cut, or if I, so if I just want to cut the highlighted region, it's no longer control Y, it's now control W. So control W will cut whatever is currently highlighted. So anything between when you last pressed control space and where your cursor currently is. The command to paste is always the same. That's always still control Y. So if I want to put it back there, I would do control Y. If I want to copy it a few more, or paste it a few more times, I can do control Y a few more times. If I want to remove this whole middle, I can do it again. So control space, I can then just start scrolling. When I get to where I want, control W and say I want to put it down here instead, do a control Y down. Um, I can do it across multiple lines. I do a control space here. I can select all of these lines. I can paste them all back down here. I can also use it, if I don't repaste it, I can effectively just delete all of that crud I didn't want the rest of my line. So we've changed the file some. We'll go ahead and save it. I only have one file. I don't want to do the prompt, so I'm just going to do control X, control S and the file will be saved. Questions on opening, closing, saving, cutting, pasting, yanking, killing. Same things like questions on killing on a YouTube video is what gets you in trouble. Okay. 